Another player who's not going, doesn't actually play for Arsenal, but I want to ask you about, because this rumour has been flying around for the last few days. Marcus Rashford, of course, won the FA Cup on Saturday with Manchester mm. United, had a horrendous season. I think he only scored eight goals in all competitions, following on from a brilliant season that he'd had the year before. Um, he has been known to blow hot and cold. As I said, didn't, you know, it was a surprising omission, even after he had such a poor yeah. season. Surprising omission that he didn't even make the England squad. He's been a mainstay of that squad for the last few campaigns. Heavily linked this week with a move to Arsenal. Would you take Marcus Rashford at Arsenal? You, you look back on on this podcast, we've we done one very, very early. When I think we was playing Man United and, and I said there's only one player that would get in the Arsenal team or you'd take from Man United and that was Marcus Rashford. That was the only one that would get, I think, could get into the Arsenal team. Um, for me, I think if the price is right, I will go for it. And I'll tell you why. Because we need someone on that left-hand side to cover. Uh, Martinelli can play on the right-hand side if he, if he needs to or down the, down the centre. So like um, so, can Rashford actually play that? So 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 Rashford can play down the centre. I do feel that we need someone that can play in all of those positions, not just a main striker. So because I think like Kai Havertz done really really well last season. So you would go in there. Rashford could play down the centre. Also, I think it's a very very good would be a good signing now because he hasn't got the Euros. So he comes in with a full pre season under his belt. If he is to to change clubs, I think he needs he needs a change. I think like yeah, he looks he, like that. He, 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 I, I think he needs he's a new up, challenge. He needs a new challenge. He's had new manager, numerous managers, and I think like he he, he may need a a, a, a fresh challenge. Um, I don't think he's damaged by any by any stretch of the imagination. I just, you know, and it could be like a real. A real good sign for us. I when, think if, if it'd be better for him to stay in the Premier League than go somewhere like PSG or somewhere like that. When you say that if the price is right, what's that right price then? I wouldn't be paying like silly money for him. Like um, yeah, what? How much? Eighty millions and, and and all that. Like I think like you know I, I wouldn't be paying any more than that. Don't forget you got the wages that I, I wouldn't be paying the wages. If he was to come, you're going to have to say to him that you know you're going to have to drop wages. But. I, 80 million, is that too much nowadays? I don't think so. When you paid 65 for, I know it's 60 million in the song, but it's 65 for Kai Havertz. And, and now you're looking at that and going, do you know what, that, that's well, good money, well spent. <clears throat> the Champions League money we've got, we, could, we can afford a big, big signing. I don't think there's anybody out there at the moment that we couldn't compete with with a, with a transfer now. I know like someone like Mpatman might go to to Real Madrid like the, the cost of all that also think that you've got to think if you was to bring in someone like Rashford I don't know how much he's I think it's crazy money 400 yeah, 350, 350 you're going to upset Arsenal players already there you know well, why, I want well, what he's having and all that so you've got to be very very careful mm. what, you, what you're doing on, on that side of it like you know look, listen up because if he was a, going back to like when we signed Sol Campbell, he was getting a lot more money than everybody else. But you could say, well, he's getting more money because he was getting the transfer fee and all that. You, you Arsenal are going to have to pay big transfer fee and then big wages. So if they can can strike a deal of a good deal, why not? Well, I thought you'd be against it. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like um, we need someone. I don't know. You know, I mean, like if if Mikel says. In my opinion, they do go. Rashford's the one. I'm going to back that. Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll back it. I mean, going off of. All right. You well, what me, about yourself, then? What were you going to go? So I was, I, I was a bit mixed when, when I've been hearing the rumours. I've been as soon as people first were saying to me, I was like, nah, nah, it's good because I saw him last season, right? Always scores at the Emirates. Always scores at the Emirates. Listen, on his day, blistering. Last season, not last season, the previous season. That guy's on fire, man. Like, he's scoring every week. He scores. He, he, he was excellent. Last season was horrendous. Lazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, not yeah. tracking back. Sulking. There were some terrible like, signs. I agree with that. Yeah. And that, yeah. you looked at that. 
And he was like, but then I started to think about it deeply and say this summit, obviously something's not right with that guy because you can't go from what he did the previous season to this season and there's not something up. There's some things up yeah. behind the scenes or some things up in the club or with him. And like you said, he is definitely a player who needs a new challenge. Definitely a player. He's got quality. I, I, I saw today that he's, he's he's made a lot of bad, and again, a lot of things I looked at and I'm like, do we really want that Arsenal? Remember when he went to Dublin? Yeah. When he should have, he should have been playing. And so I was just like, do we need that? Do we need that? Was, that's what, you know, he was like Aubameyang again. Like, you know, we have them sort of similar issues with Aubameyang. We got rid of him. Why would we want to bring someone in like that? But is the fact that he's been left out of that England squad a real wake-up call for him? I noticed that he said that he's coming off of social media for a few weeks, which that indicates to me that that guy's saying to himself, I need a reset. I've heard in the past that he would be interested in coming out to Arsenal. Yeah, uh, there is I've heard, that. Rumors, I've yeah. heard that strongly. He's got the talent. And then the one thing I look at and I say to myself, Mikel Arteta, would be the factor for me. He is, would be capable of turning Marcus Rashford back into the Marcus Rashford we saw the previous season. Mm. When Kai Havertz came in and I put myself in that bracket as well, I was like, what, really? Kai Havertz? Didn't has Mikko not been watching what he was doing uh, at Chelsea? Why are we going to get an info? Mm. But then I remember with Kai Havertz, the first sort of thing I thought to myself, because I was doing transfer daily and that, the first sort of thing I thought to myself is, well, it's not just Arsenal after him. Real Madrid are interested in him as mm. well. Bayern Munich as well, weren't Bayern Munich are interested. These, these are not little small clubs or mid clubs. These are big clubs that are interested in him. So there must be a player in there that they've identified that they can turn that guy around. We see what he's done with Kai Havertz. He's brought him in, he's turned him around. Now Kai Havertz is back to the player that we all knew that was a Leverkusen, that was super talented. As, he, as a matter of fact, we've seen things from Kai Havertz we didn't know were in his game. I didn't know he could hold up the ball like that. I didn't know he, he, his work rate was like nah. that. I didn't know his physicality was like that. Those are all things that have been brought out from him by Mikel Arteta. So I'm looking at, thinking to myself, right, then what could Arteta do with Rashford? You know what I mean? Because definitely the player is there. The challenge would be, he'd be coming into a team that's back in the Champions League and we need a good squad, like you said, and he would be able to challenge for places in that team. He'd be able to get back his place in that England squad. Because remember, we've got the, the, the World Cup coming up in the States and every player is going to want to play in that yeah. World Cup in America, America, Canada, Mexico which is the next one. So he'd have a target. He'd be coming into a team where, you know, they, there'd be some familiar faces in there that I'm sure he, I'm sure his Saka's there, Declan Rice players like that. The mentality of that team is like, they're all on that, you know, got that mentality that, listen, we want to try and win the league. That's the mentality of all these players now. So when I started to weigh up all those things, I was like, actually, it wouldn't be a bad signing. And like you said, the fact that he's able to play right across that front, you know, you could, you, you, could, 